What's going on guys, Zach Penner here, and today's video is gonna be a home upper body workout. So this is an example of an upper body day. Depends on your splits and how you guys wanna do it. For my guys on my coaching plans, I'm still doing a push-pull legs with them, and then I'm giving home workouts. So I'm recommending dumbbells, but I'm gonna bring out a plan that requires no equipment. I feel if, if the demand's there, but I'm really encouraging people to get some dumbbells, get some weights if you can, because it'll make a huge difference. Um, so that's what we're using today, is just a pair of dumbbells. Now I would recommend, let's call it a medium pair of dumbbells. So for me, I'm using 12s here because it's kind of like I can get 30 reps and it'll be a good set or for isolation movements, it's not too heavy. So that's why I feel like it's a good, uh, if you're gonna get one pair, just get a pair of mediums. Um, otherwise, go for it. Really, if you can, grab a light pair, a medium pair and a heavy pair uh, because then you've got a whole bunch of pairs and that's like, it's really good fruit. Everybody likes them. Everyone's happy, good. Um, no guys, so we're gonna get into it now. Like I said, grab yourself some dumbbells. If you can't find dumbbells, get a rock or something, buy some. Um, I'll put some links, just have a shop online guys because a lot of places are selling out, but if you just inquire and keep inquiring and put yourself on a waiting list, you'll be able to find some easy. And I think if it's gonna be like this for the next few months, definitely it's worth investing in. And again guys, before we get started, if you guys wanna shop Gymshark, the link is in the description. Um, really appreciate it, they got some sick new stuff coming out and the EHP Lab supplements as well. Zach 10, for, where is it? There? Yep. Use that discount code um, for 10% off supplements. Now, that's it, that's all my plugs done. And um, I think it's safe to say, let's get into it. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with push-ups as a mechanical drop set, meaning it gets easier as you go. So we're gonna start with decline push-ups, max reps, then go flat push-ups, max reps, followed by incline push-ups, max reps. So we're supersetting the side raises with front raises here, as many as you can get. Really pulling from your elbows here, trying not to swing too much, but if you wanna get some partials in there, you can get a bit of a swing. So once you're done with max out, then straight into the fronts, really squeezing here with the front delt. So don't swing these too much, squeeze at the top, slowly back down. So you've probably seen bicep 21s before, here we're gonna do them a little bit differently. We're gonna do seven reps at the top here, where it's quite hard, then seven full reps, and then seven half reps at the bottom here. So we're gonna do these last because this is the easiest and you can get a few more out, you can go heavier without compromising form. Now I like to use a chair here just to support my back. Now I do this one arm at a time because you can go heavier, so this weight is perfect for me, that's probably working weight. And get a really big stretch on the tricep here and I don't like to fully lock out, I just like to hit the tension on. And if you want, you can superset these with diamond push-ups or you can just do them after, it's entirely up to you. Um, but just keep in mind, controlling the tempo and going slower on the way down, squeezing harder at the top, these are the things that you can use to add intensity without necessarily adding weight. Now this is one of my favorite rear delt exercises. It's simply a squeeze. I like to call them a rear delt row because it's not a fly, you're not swinging. It's just a slow and controlled squeeze back and really try to squeeze back with your elbow. So don't think about your arms too much. Just think about pinching back with your elbow and feeling that rear delt. Okay, this one is optional. If you have a tree, use it. If you don't, grow one. Gloves, so we don't tear our hands to pieces. And if you can't do full pull-ups, you can do them off any like fence and just use your toes to like creep up. A little bit awkward, but it can be done. But for this, relatively straight, Experiment with different grips, whatever, whatever you can do, whatever feels good, uh, gotta make do. So that is it for this workout guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know in the comments what kind of workouts you do wanna see. Um, but for anybody else who wants to sign up to my plan, I've made my coaching program $24 down from 60. So I'm trying to make this as um, accessible as possible to everybody. I obviously can't give everything away for free. Um, that's why the service is still there. So guys, you can jump on that, link is in the description. But otherwise that is it from me. Um, and you guys definitely, definitely know what to do. Try and get massive and maintain what you've got. <laughs> Stay massive. <laughs> Slide into your DMs in the PM and the AM Then I slide into your feelings when you see just what I'm saying